I love the Pixar movies, and so I thought I'd add something from all of them to Minecraft. I'm doing some obvious ones like Woody from Toy Story, but also some less obvious ones like the dentist from Finding Nemo. I'm going chronologically, so I'm starting off with Toy Story. I first added Woody and Buzz as toys that you can play with during the day, but at night they come alive. Just like in the movie, they'll try to unalive you, but they can't move if you're looking right at them. Some of the toy mobs have special effects. Slinky looks just like a regular wolf until you get close. And if these aliens catch you, they'll try to pick you up and take you to the pizza planet structure that generates randomly in every world. Inside every pizza planet is the potion of life, which is what lets the toys from Toy Story be alive. You can splash the potion onto blocks in Minecraft to bring them to life. Now that's a block I'd get dirty with. I also added Sid as a new boss. If he grabs you, he'll turn you into a mutant toy. Here, he's turning some poor guy into the baby spider thing from Toy Story 1. Lastly, I let you become Mr. Potato Head by eating a potato, which is really good because it gives you a chance at getting with Mrs. Potato Head. Hubba hubba. Next up is a bug's life. The main character is an ant, so it felt like an obvious place to start making a mod. These little guys are harmless, but if you leave food on the ground, like after you farm your carrots, they'll be all over it. If you have food on the lower half of your inventory, they'll also be on you. You can literally have ants in your pants. You can squash them by jumping on them, or by using a piston. Either way, you'll get ants, which are a great source of protein, but can also be used to craft ant blocks. These ant blocks are like quicksand. You'll sink through them. Here's what that looks like in first person. I love when the ants cover up my eyes. It makes me feel like one of them. You can use ant blocks to build ant hills, but more importantly, you can use them to craft Ant-Man armor. I thought about making the armor like Ant-Man in real life and letting you shrink, but I thought it would be way cooler to make it turn you into an ant. The main villains in A Bug's Life are cockroaches. At least, I think they're cockroaches. I've never left my house, so I don't actually know. Anyways, I added cockroaches too. They come from these roach eggs, which you can break and cook in a furnace to get roach omelets. Yum! If you don't break them, they'll hatch into baby roaches. These little guys love rotten flesh. The more you leave on the ground, the more the roaches will come. Now this is a crowd. Roaches are scared of light, so if you place a torch, they'll all scatter. They like to hide in little crevices, like between blocks, so sometimes you'll get a surprise after you break a block. You can't squash them like ants because of their hard protective shell, but you can ride them, which is especially fun on the big roaches. I looked up how to unalive roaches in real life, and you're supposed to use soapy water, so I made it so roaches lose their invincibility only after you take a long romantic bath with them. I used to be a bedwars sweat before I started making content, so I also made some bedbugs even though they're not in a bug's life. Next up was Monsters Inc. The whole premise of this movie is that the monsters come into the human dimension at night to scare you while you're sleeping. And that was perfect for me because Minecraft is in the human dimension, and you have to sleep in Minecraft. I coded it so that you now have to sit through an entire minute of sleeping animation, and during this time, there's a chance Mike or Sully will wake you up and scare you. You'll wake up screaming like this. That was really it for this mod. I was going to make it so that you could go into the monster dimension, but I couldn't think of anything cool the monster dimension could offer. To make up for how short this one is, here's the Mike Sully crossover meme guy. Next up was Finding Nemo. The movie is about Nemo, so I started off by adding Nemo and Clownfish. Just like in the movie, Clownfish live in these anemone, and they spawn clownfish if you leave them alone, but you can also farm them with shears to make wigs and mops, which is good since you'll need a bucket and a mop for this WAP. I wanted to emphasize the father-son relationship from the movie, so I made it so that clownfish only spawn in father-son pairings. I also let them play catch with each other in their downtime, and here's a clownfish son crying while his dad teaches him math. If you pick up the son clownfish with a bucket, the father will follow you forever no matter where you go, 
because he's finding Nemo. Here, I collected an entire inventory worth of clownfish sons and went on a little hike. If you leave the clownfish alone, they will join the circus. You can find circus tents as a new structure in villages, where clownfish perform for the villagers by jumping through hoops and juggling each other. This is mostly because clownfish have clown in the name and I thought it was funny, but it's also to pay homage to this iconic shark bait ooh ah ah scene. This has nothing to do with the movie, but here's a fish clown. Maybe if you guys blow this video up, Pixar will add it to Finding Nemo 3. Minecraft already has coral reefs and beautiful oceans and turtles and boats, and Dory wasn't interesting enough to add on her own, so I decided to add these seagulls that help them escape from the dentist. They fly around your Minecraft world, making the sky more interesting, and in their spare time, they go like this. Mine, mine, mine. Because that's what they love to do. You can tame them by holding a fish out and letting the seagull eat it out of your hand. And then they'll come mining with you. If it sees a diamond block, it'll mine it and bring it to you. This is pretty broken, so to nerf it, the seagulls also poop randomly all the time. This is not that bad if you're just in the caves, but it can also poop on your builds, which you have to scrape off. And it can poop on you, oh, man. where it'll actually update your Minecraft skin in real life. If you want to collect it, I added ice cream cones, which you can use to catch the bird poop. There's also strawberry seagulls, which drop strawberry poop. Lastly, I added the dentists that capture Nemo. This will be part of my later Minecraft mouth update, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. When I started making this video, I wanted to add every Pixar movie to Minecraft in one go, but I quickly realized that that would not be doable. I'm going to split this series into three parts, with this being the first. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'm releasing the downloads to these mods at 1000 likes, so send it to your friends.